The story of Javier Chicharito Hernandez, the overachiever. You may know him as Javier Chicharito Hernandez, the man who put a smile on every Mexican supporter's face, the man who flew Mexico's flag high and proud in the Premier League, but he wasn't supposed to be this good. See, Chicharito was born into a footballing family. His father and his grandfather were both professional footballers. Chicharito followed in his family's footsteps. He played in the recreational league up until the age of nine years old when he joined Chivas de Guadalajara. Chicharito worked his way up through the youth system leading up to 2005 when he was expected to be part of Mexico's U-17 World Cup team. A couple of setbacks would make the Mexico head coach leave Chicharito out of that roster. That team would go on to win that World Cup. Chicharito made his professional debut for Chivas in 2006, but he would not get a lot of playing time, so he was sent back and forth between the main team and the second division team Chivas Coras. Over the next few seasons, Chicharito would face his toughest time as a professional footballer. He wouldn't get enough playing time and he was unhappy about his situation in Chivas. Chivas owner Vergara offered Chicharito to Chivas USA, but it was reported that Chivas USA head coach Perky turned him down because he felt Chicharito was not good enough for the team. Chicharito was at a crossroads, contemplating retirement and focusing full-time on getting a university degree. That's when Francisco Paco Ramirez took over the reins of Chivas. He saw his hard work in training and made the popular decision of benching Javier Borghetti and giving Chicharito the starting role in the last games of the season. Chicharito had scored one goal and gave one assist. He was starting to gain confidence as he was becoming one of the best players in the league. His best work came during the 2009-2010 10 season. Chicharito started to show his goal scoring ability, his movement off the ball, pace, and ability to find space inside the box made him a threat at any moment in the match. After scoring 11 goals in the Mexican League Apertura, Chicharito was in the radar of many European clubs, and in December 2009, Manchester United sent over a scout to report on Chicharito, and to be short, they liked what they saw in him. United's original plan was to wait until after his World Cup performances to see if they would make Chivas an offer. That all changed when Chicharito went on a goal scoring run, scoring 10 goals in 7 assists over the course of 11 games. Sir Alex Ferguson gave his seal of approval and on April 8, 2010, it was announced that the Mexican star would be joining Manchester United for a fee around 6 million euros. In Chicharito's first official match for the Red Devils, he scored one of his most iconic goals for the club. Valencia made a cross from the right side, found Chicharito in the box, whose shot got deflected from his own face before going into the back of the net to make it 2-0. Chicharito was a breath of fresh air for United. That season, Chicharito had a better goal per minute ratio than the great Wayne Rooney. On May 8th, Chicharito scored the opening goal in a 2-1 home win over Chelsea, leaving United one point away from winning the league title. The goal against Chelsea made him the first player since Ruud van Nistelrooy to score 20 goals for the club in his debut season. United were crowned Premier League champions. Chicharito capped his debut season with Manchester United by winning the Sir Matt Busby Player of the Year award on May 18, which was voted for by the fans, which just showed that Chicharito had earned the love and respect of the fans. In his second season, United suffered a dip in form. As they did not win any major trophies, they also lost the historic race for the Premier League title. Chicharito only managed to score 12 goals in roughly the same amount of minutes as the prior season. Sir Alex Ferguson felt like he needed another striker to build the winning team again, so in came Robin Van Persie. That season would be defined as Sir Alex Ferguson's final season as a United head coach. Van Persie was the scoring option for United. He finished the season with 30 goals and 16 assists. Sir Alex still managed to make effective use of the Mexican, scoring 18 goals in 36 appearances. Chicharito managed his best ratio of goals to games in any of his United seasons during the 2012-2013 campaign. He went on a run of 7 goals in 5 games in October and November 2012, giving Ferguson a significant selection headache. Chicharito would mainly come off the bench, but he was always ready and he embraced his super sub position. United would win their 20th league title and Chicharito seemed to find his role at the club. David Moyes replaced Sir Alex Ferguson. Moyes did not have Sir Alex Ferguson's experience of keeping an elite squad happy. His disastrous tenure saw him under such pressure for results that he rarely played Chicharito and he rarely experimented with new lineups. The next summer, Chicharito joined Real Madrid on a one-year loan. Besides scoring beautiful goals like these, Chicharito gave Real Madrid the winning goal against Atletico Madrid in the last minutes to advance to the Champions League semifinals. At the end of the season, many rumors were spread that Real Madrid would buy Chicharito, but nothing was official, so he had to return to Old Trafford. Luis Van Gaal signaled that Chicharito would be a key player to his team, but that all changed when Anthony Marshall signed for the Red Devils. In the last day of the transfer window, United and Bayern Leverkusen reached a deal for the Mexican. Over the next two seasons, Chicharito scored 39 goals, 9 assists, and 76 games. He was also awarded Player of the Month twice. After two good seasons in Germany, he was wanted by West Ham. Chicharito, of course, wanted that challenge. He was on board right away. The club splashed 16 million for him. Co-owner of West Ham, David Sullivan, was ecstatic of the signing, stating, he's potentially the best player to ever come to the club. He's probably the best proven goal scorer we have ever signed. He's done it in the Premier League with 
with Manchester United, his goal scoring ratio was a goal every two and a half games. So that's a pretty good record. Unfortunately, Chicharito wasn't the same, especially since a couple of months into the season. The manager who brought him into the club was sacked. Former United manager David Moyes was brought in as a replacement. We all know these two guys don't like each other, and to the surprise of nobody, things didn't work out. Chicharito wasn't a regular, as Moyes had made the transformation for Marco Arnautovic from winger to center forward, and the Austrian backed 12 goals to keep the team in the Premier League. Manuel Pellegrini came in the summer of 2018, but a mixture of things kept Chicharito from the starting role. Chicharito wanted to play, so he ended in multiple transfer requests. A deal was finalized on September 2nd, 2019, with Sevilla for 8 million euros. At West Ham, Chicharito scored 16 goals in 63 appearances. Chicharito's stint at Sevilla lasted about 6 months, because a massive deal to join LA Galaxy was on the table. It was $6 million per season, Chicharito would be a fool to turn that offer down. Although we like to see these guys in the best leagues in Europe, Sometimes we have to accept the fact that they are past their prime and they should be looking for big salary contracts because once they are retired, the fans' opinions really don't matter. In his first season at Galaxy, Chicharito lost his grandfather, the man who stuck by his side through everything, the man who was there to block out all the noise from his critics. Chicharito lost a father figure. He struggled with everyday things. Although he was far from his family in Guadalajara, Chicharito gave it his best on the field for Galaxy. Although he would fall short most of the time, goals that he would normally make just wouldn't go in. Chicharito was going through the worst moment of his life, being away from everyone he called family and battling depression. The fans, well, the fans let him have it. Calling him out for his bad performances, they threw every name in the book at him. From fraud, overrated, Chicharito is done, Chicharito wasn't good enough to play in Europe, and they were even mad at him for playing Call of Duty on his time off. When the season ended, Chicharito began to build himself back. Like he stated, you want to rebuild it? You need to tear it down. I knew deep inside myself that I needed to take responsibility of my life. Chicharito blocked out all the negative energy, negative of comments and he was just working on rehabbing his injuries and working hard to make a strong comeback season. In the opening game for Galaxy, Chicharito backed two goals and he was off to a great start. Chicharito felt like Galaxy could become champions. He scored 10 goals in 9 matches until he suffered a devastating injury that kept him off the field for 12 matches. Chicharito was cool, calm and collected. He kept a good head on his shoulders and focused on what he could control. LA Galaxy tried their best to replace Chicharito, he was truly missed and you just know that if he would have been available, he would have won them a couple extra games. In the final 12 games of the season, Chicharito scored 7 goals including 2 goals in the final match. LA Galaxy would fall short missing out on the playoffs once again, but Chicharito truly delivered and showed what he was truly made of. At the end of the day, he is a competitor and he likes to prove the haters wrong.